couple different presidents. God favors the entrepreneurs in the Bible. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. He put gold on the planet in Genesis. And we don't want to get none of it, even though he put it here for us. Mm. But somehow that's why I don't teach my kids slavery and shit. You know what I'm saying? Because that shit will play a part in everything we do. We never think that we're good enough to do anything in life. Mm. What about, I mean, what? some people say, like, you should know, though. Right? You don't have to teach it to them for them to... To like dwell on it, but at least for them to understand the world, though, right? Because yeah. like, think about it. If you if they don't understand slavery, they don't understand our uh, crookedness. If they don't understand evil, they can't. They they won't able to see it and maneuver through it. I always say it's good and bad. You know what I'm saying? Slavery and racism put a whole different spin on it because now it requires us to act to be proactive versus reactive. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So now we more extra with it versus just being on some. Let me play it smooth. It's all about awareness. For, for one, like, you know, uh, that Tyreek Hill situation, it's about awareness. You see all that crazy, you you out there, man, nigga, 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 hey, do your job. Rolling your window halfway down, being extra crazy, and then you recording the part where now you're on the ground or whatever the case is. When you know for a fact if you would have diffused the situation, you would have been on your way. I think that comes, so me personally, I per my first act, I, I, so of course, some of that is entitlement, money, yeah. right? But another part of that is being unaware. Like you said, right? I think, if he was not him, I was taught that make it home. Yeah, make it home right? by any means. But if you're so you say you, you don't teach him racism, slavery. If I if I don't know racism exists, I I would see somebody act like Tyreek because I don't know that this could happen. This could happen for my actions. Not saying it's okay, but because I understand what can happen for my actions, I'm gonna be a, okay. I'm gonna roll the even if you're wrong. I'm gonna roll the window down. But what okay. about if you just being a good person? Like you just understand that people just doing their job. Like oh hey officer, but banging oh, on the window because the officer was wrong. Banging yeah. on the window. It's not him just doing his job. But because I understand he's looking for a moment, he, he want to make it a dick measuring contest. I'm not going to give him that. I'm not going to give him a reason to do what I know he can do because I know from history that that police officers kill black people, people that look like me. So because I know that, mm -hmm. even though he's not doing his job, I'm not about to challenge it. I, I see you on the flip side. That's how I look at it. How many police officers we got in our family, though? You know, we be having plenty of them, whatever the case is. So we already know it's good cops and bad cops, right? Mm. Just like it's um good people and bad people of all colors. You know what I'm saying? I know a nigga right now who will kill everybody, who will kill all of us. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, like it, it's good people and bad people in almost every situation. And that's what I pretty much teach my kids. Like, yo, it's good people, bad people. But the moment they start thinking that they was ever held down, this and that. Like, now we're, we, us as black people... We hold our name in the same name as poverty, and we love that shit. Mm. Like, when Neiman Marcus said, yo, if you make less than $200,000 a year, we don't want you shopping in our store. Why is it that black people say, oh, y'all just don't want black people to shop? Wait, don't fucking, wait, no, no, we ain't all broke. Mm -hmm. We ain't all making less than 200000 Some of us got our shit together. Some of us want to get our shit together, so we're not going to connect ourselves with poverty. Why we got to be the first ones to jump out there? You know, oh, no, you just don't want us to shop in there because we ain't making that money. Mm -hmm. Like, we don't need to be proud of that. We proud of everything else, but why we're not proud on the economic growth versus systemic racism? We know we can't do shit about it. We didn't even experience it like they did back in the day. We need to be moving on to think and teach our kids, hey, move on past this. Don't even dwell on this because that's trauma. Like, I'm from Montgomery, Alabama originally, right? And I tell people... People field trips was probably to Washington D.C. and shit. Yeah, yeah. My field trips was to plantations. Yeah, my looking at yeah. lacerations on the tree where niggas got hung. That's traumatizing. Mm. I don't want to pass that out on my kids and make them think they was less than. Like my fourteen and fifteen year old, they had to see life for what it was, right? But my five and two year old, they grew up in the house. You know what I'm saying? My five year old, he came along when two months later I made him up my first million dollars. So he's seen progression. My two-year-old, she she didn't have maids and butlers since she was two. We stay in the five million dollar mansion, so she knows that lifestyle. Sweetest thing ever. Nice to everybody, this and that, because now they have a different you know, point of view in life. Mm. Now they're more happier. They call my son Mr. Smiles because he always smiling. He always happy. I love you. Walk up to like it's just a different level in life. Because now we're not putting that trauma on them. You know what I'm saying? Versus, hey, you walk down the street, you can get your ass killed. You know that, right? Hey, you know if this police, they're supposed to protect and serve and this and that. You know he's he really looking to murder you. We putting that shit in our kid's head. Not even saying decipher from people to people, mm. person to person. If you give people nice ass and energy, that shit is infectious. It will turn the most, oh, I hate this nigga. Oh, damn, no, no, no. Because remember, people are only learning, to, learning about us from news. Yeah. And what we portray. Because we know who's putting that dollar behind, oh, I'm going to murder your ass, I'm going to shoot your ass, I'm going to shoot you in the head. We know who's putting the dollars behind that. Mm. So they're only seeing that so they don't know about us. Just like we have a certain you know, no, notion on them. Yeah. You know, we, we go in the airport, we see people with turbans on their head, we get a little, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? Like, 
the same thing they do. They clutch their purses because that's what they've seen on TV. Mm. And it's ignorant for sure. And I guess I got what you're saying is makes sense. And even the whole um, dynamic of like being from Alabama and yet filters being the plantations that can mess up a a, a kid's brain and, and make them think that there's nothing past this. Yeah. Me coming from Baltimore, I understand that. Yeah. I guess, just like you said, it's different people, but like, why not teach that, but also teach different people? Like, cause just because your kids don't have to learn about plants and how you learned about it, yeah. but they can learn about it, I guess. And this yeah. is not me saying you're doing wrong. I'm just challenging the mindset of not teaching them about slavery. 100%. Like, they can learn about slavery, but not from the mentality of you can't be anything because this, right? Because like, just like you said, is it when when Neiman Marcus said they don't want nobody shopping in our store that uh that don't make more than two hundred thousand dollars, yeah, two hundred thousand dollars. It's a group of black people who's complaining, but it's also a group of black people who's saying, "Well, make more money then." Yeah, right. So yeah, why can't why can't it be that way, right? Because I believe it's that su- up that up that subconscious thing that slavery does to our people. That's why they push it every year. It does something to us subconsciously. A lot of black people can't look at white people in their eyes. They can't. We hold our heads down still. We think that having a white voice is the best voice versus just being articulate in the voice that God gave you. Because that's what we were taught, though. Exactly. Now, we teach. You see, you see what I'm saying? That's what we were taught. So we keep going off of what we were taught versus let's switch this up a little bit. What happens if you tell your kids they from royalty? You know what I'm saying? Oh, we from royalty. That's why we got all this. That's why we working so hard. You know what I'm saying? We come from a great royal background or whatever the case is and leave it there. Your kids are going to come out here and think they can do anything another kid of another culture can do. Now they out here with all the, you know, feeling and, you know, Oh, I can do this and that. I'm going to do this and that. I'm going to do this and that. And not thinking they're going to get held back by their skin. You know, it's too many of us saying, you know, that you just still a nigga. Mm-hmm. People say it all the time. They be like, you got money, but you're still a nigga. I'm like, I challenge that. I've been in too many places, white, black, Indian, whatever. We just take we take a, a yearly $10,000 cruise. Everybody on there paid the same amount of money. All our kids playing with each other. Not one hint of racism. Not one sit of, not one hint of that token black person friend thing. Mm-hmm. Nah, people respect Wealth and where you climb to. And I always tell people, let me take on all that racism for y'all. Because I've been able to turn so many people around mentally about us by them meeting me and how I carry myself. I've been hearing them say things like, oh, my God, your people are not that bad. I don't get offended to that because they only seen what they seen. Mm. They, You should be the leader of your people. Oh, my God, you guys are amazing. That's because we're giving them a different point of view versus being on a tight time based off of the slavery movie that just came out last year. And what you looking at, bitch? You know what I'm saying? Like, versus, now nah, I'm gonna judge everybody where they are, and I'm still try to work with around that. You know, some of us, we gotta do the work to change people's point of view on it, or never change. We'll mm-hmm. always be at war with people that never been through that shit either. Mm-hmm. They ain't been through that shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, literally, one more generation, <laughs> nobody has ever seen slavery. Mm. There ain't gonna be no more great, 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 great grand people that's alive and shit. Like, all that's gonna be dead. Like, it's only gonna be what we was taught versus, hey, this is a new age. White kids are playing with black kids. They got best friends. You know what I'm saying? We playing with everybody. Like, now that's only something that we keep up, that we mm. wanna produce. But what has it done for us? I always ask people, well, how has it benefited you in life? What your life look like knowing all this shit that we know? Mm. Are you held back or are you progressing more than ever? Mm. Nine times out of 10, they always say, held back. I guess because I do look at somebody that's progressing more than ever, and I understand. Like my mom's, like my mom's is heavy in drug addiction, but that didn't make me right. Like I, like right. when I came up, people always be like, "Man, you're a product of your environment." Like I'm not a product of my environment. Facts. Like I'm, I'm a, uh, I came from there, but I'm not of it. You right. know what I'm saying? And what that means is like, yeah, I can recognize that I had struggles. I, I've been through some things, but that didn't make me. That didn't, that didn't, uh, because I was that. That didn't, I didn't have to be who. Who the projects created. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, but but because I understand that, I still have compassion and understanding of people who who go through that. And I can talk to them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I feel like if I didn't have that knowledge, that's that's how we get these cops that kill people so so fast. Because they don't know us. They're not in our communities. They don't, they don't see how we talk. Yeah. But because I've been in it, I understand that sometimes, okay, this is just a different level of passion. Mm. This isn't anger. This is just him being passionate. Yeah. But I feel like for those who don't, who, who can't understand it, who have, who doesn't have the education, then they will be judgmental. Yeah. Right? That's why I guess I'm challenging it. Like, I don't think there's nothing wrong with having the knowledge as long as you teach them that 
you don't have like we do come from kings and queens. Do you know that niggas was is king? It's exactly. not spelled N I G G A A. It's, it's spelled N I G U S. You get what I'm saying? Like, and then what happened was, uh, I don't know. Christopher Columbus came over here. He he named it when he was wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like they kept captured us to be slaves, but that wasn't how it was supposed to be. We yeah. was kings before that. Hundred percent. I feel like the school starts at slavery, so we can teach them slavery, but yeah. it, it don't it don't it never started there. Right. If that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So it's just a, I'm not yeah. saying yeah, I love your your thought process. I'm just like yeah, maybe it's sure. another way too. 100%, bro. And I know a lot of us, we just carry too, many, too much anger. I guess yeah. that's what it is. Like, it brings out anger in us because that's what they show. Mm. They show vivid rape, vivid hanging, vivid this, mm. that subconsciously put us down and we saying we're, we're not better than them. Mm. That's our people's... They, if they don't say it out loud, they thinking it. It's We're cute. not better than them. They are better than us, and they still think like that today. Yeah. But I will walk up and say, "Yo, I'm, give me, give me a couple, give me a couple years." I mm. walk up to Jeff Bezos, give me a couple years. I'm gonna smoke your numbers. I promise you. You know mm. what I'm saying? With all confidence, because I'm not letting the color hold me back. Like mm. this is our our biggest disadvantage is our advantage. God made us different for a reason. You know what I'm saying? We really the chosen people if they want to get down to it. But you know what I'm saying? Like we're different. We got to use our disadvantages to our advantages and say, "Oh, I'm gonna take over." Mm. Nobody didn't expect this little black dude. To slide out there in the hood, come Nobody. out here and do 32 million in six years. They wasn't even planning on me even doing this. They mm. looked at the background, like he ain't gonna, and now boom. And I tell people, ain't nobody, I used to think, just like everybody else, oh, if I get too big, they gonna clip my weight. Ain't nobody give a damn. You ain't really nobody until you pass a couple hundred million for real. Mm. You fly under the radar than any other thing, because I'm mm. looking at 10 million, <laughs> 20 million, 100, you know, 30 million. Ain't nobody looking at nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Like, if anything, you get accepted more into a different society and you let them know mm. more about who you are as a person. That's so true. I, I, and and I, people criticize me, not criticize me, but like, I guess some people who say that they don't believe in it. But like me, it would be ignorant for me to say racism isn't real. Yeah. However, I understand that it's real, but I think the the biggest um, destruction in our country is, is classism. 100%. I, like, I think if you black, but if you rich... You sitting at the table. You good. They, you even good. if they racist, they don't give a damn. Like, okay. They, they respect money. So, <laughs> right. so I'm like, I don't give a damn what you say about me when you're asleep or you talking to your wife or whatever. What I care about is what you present to me when I see you. Yep. If that that's respect to me. Mm -hmm. If you can hold your tongue and talk, because you know we're gonna joke on whoever we joke on. Mm -hmm. So you know what I'm saying? Like, whatever you do is whatever you do. Mm -hmm. I don't care, but when we're in front of each other, it's different. That's why I say most of that racism shit is in poverty stricken areas, the yeah. trailer parks. That's who damn over here calling us but, niggas. But guess what? <laughs> on some real shit, them white, them white people don't give a damn about them poor white people evil. Exactly. That's poor is poor. poor they is, don't want to be around poor, period. That's a fact. Ain't, no, ain't nothing about no color means nothing. Like, just like we don't want to be in the hood no more because niggas get down certain ways. Mm -hmm. I ain't walking in the hood with all this shit on. Mm -hmm. I know what type of wolves out there was. I was out there. So I know, oh shit, I already know what to stay away from. Mm -hmm. So we all try to get away from whatever we consider is lower than what we are actually currently at right now.